My name's Katie and this is Pepper. She's four and she's a Jack Russell cross with a poodle. Pepper is a diva. She is a really good girl. She's really well behaved until she doesn't want to be. I'm a new mum, so looking after a baby keeps me very busy and you can't always be there as much for your dog as you were before your baby came along. There's a lot of mum, dog mum guilt comes with that. It's really horrible to see when your dog's anxious. It's really stressful to watch them. From being a puppy, she's never really liked loud noises, but fireworks especially are as bad and we know bonfire night, New Year's Eve, we're really gonna see anxiety come out in Pepper then. And you kinda wanna do anything to give them some comfort and wish they'd understand. It sounds like the world's ending, but it's not. Being able to do something to help Pepper deal with her anxiety makes me feel like I'm being a responsible pet owner, but also I'd do anything to help a member of the family out if they were feeling stressed, and she is a member of our family. So when it's coming up to something that would really be stressful for Pepper, we get the house ready, we make sure she's got somewhere safe and dark to go to, that's her crate, so I'll spray that with the spray, I'll make sure the plug-ins are plugged in and turned on so it's around the house, and then we'll give her a tablet as well so she's got that extra level of protection really. I think anxiety in pets is actually really common and some people might not realise there are things you can do to help your pet cope with it. So I think it's important to talk about it with other people because they may have um, an anxious pet at home and not realise that there was something that they could do to help them. 